Good evening and welcome to the channel. I'm Jordan and we're going to discuss a few interesting picks. These picks I think are good for cover only. I wouldn't want to start these guys. If you're desperate for a desperate for a last player in a certain line, then you could pick one of these players. But um, yeah, I'm just going to discuss them. So first up we have Witherden. So Witherden's interesting, he performed better early in the year, had a bit of a slump, but just returned to form. Um, I like him as a bench option. If you want to, you could downgrade Duday to him if you want. I would do that if I, have the, if I had the trades, but I don't, so I'm not going to do that. But I like Witherden, halfback. He has that um, supercoach friendly role, and he, should, and he will play every game, unless he gets injured. So I do like Witherden. He's very cheap, very underpriced. Now, David Mundy, a li little bit more expensive. Um, I think he's been okay this year. He's dropped one score under 78. Other than that, he's given us a couple hundreds. Um, a good, I think he's a decent pick. I'd actually probably go Dugowie over him because Dugowie has a higher ceiling. So, And Dugowie is going to play more midfield than usual. So, Mundy's okay. Probably not the greatest pick, but um, he's an option. So yeah, Dugowie, as I said, uh, he should play more midfield now, and um, I think he's a good cover option, probably a bit expensive for a cover option, but um, he has that DPP, which really helps, so uh, I like him. He could, I honestly don't know what to expect from him, anywhere between 80 and 100 average for the rest of the year, I think, and um, really depends on... Um, how consistent he is because I I haven't really seen the consistency from him but he has been very good this year so I'd guess about a 90 average so I think he's an okay option Wingard is another one that's been uh, talked up a lot Ken Hinckley did say that he wants Wingard to play uh, forward a bit more because he's been playing uh, a lot of midfield time recently so I don't mind Wingard I think he's a good cover option a few people have him at F6 I don't hate it, but um, I don't mind it either. So I think for a coverage option, uh, he's one of the better ones, I think. Uh, Quentin Tarantino, I would pick him if Josh Kelly or Cornelio is out for the season or something. Cornelio would, um, Quentin would be the one that I pick because that assures us that he plays midfield and that is a role that he scores quite well in. So I like Quentin, so he's been very good this year. But if there's no injury to a GWS midfielder, then no to Quinton. Now, uh, Lamborghini, Kane Lamborghini, Lambert, I'm talking. I like Lambert. He finished last year very strong. He, he has a decent ceiling. He can score a few 110s and 120s. Um, he's dropped some terrible scores. I think sometimes he plays a bit more forward. Sometimes he plays on the wing. Um, I don't mind him as a bench option. He's very cheap. He's definitely underpriced. So, um, who knows? Maybe he's priming himself for the rest of the year. But um, he has a huge tank. Um, I think he comes first or second in all the time trials every year. So, I, I actually really like Lambert. Um, he's probably one I'm considering if Fritch goes down. So... Um, I do like Lambert, actually. Probably out of all the DPPs, I would probably go for Wingard or Lambert when can, when factoring in price. So I don't mind Lambert. And two very cheap options. We have Jack Rewalt and Jack Billings. Now, Rewalt, I think his average should be about 87, 86 or something, but he did get knocked out one game. And then the game after he returned from getting knocked out, he was a little sluggish, so... His average sh probably should be about 90. I think he's the best coverage option you can get. He doesn't have that DPP, which kind of sucks, but I do like Jack Rewalt. Definitely, um, if you're going real bad then and you need an F6, Jack Rewalt is your guy. And also we have Jack Billings. Now this guy, what he, what he's done this year is, I'm not sure if we can ever forgive him. But he's playing midfield. He did play Gold Coast this week, so um, that probably says a lot because he did score very well. So uh, I I prefer 
Jack Rewalt, but we know Billings has a high ceiling. Um, just I, I'm not sure we can trust him to get it together for the rest of the year. But the encouraging thing is he's probably going to play more midfield than the half forward flank role. So don't mind Billings, but prefer Jack Rewalt. So there's some alternative picks you can go for if you want. I would probably like Lambert, Wingard, or probably the first one I'd go for is Jack Rewalt. If not, and I needed a DPP, I would probably go for Wingard than Lambert. So that's what I would do. But yeah, if you're looking for coverage options or really cheap options, I don't mind these guys. Um, oh, that's it for today, I think. I'm just watching Japan versus Colombia. It's been a pretty good game so far. Um, do enjoy the World Cup. So I know SBS have got coverage for the next two days, which is nice because Optus Sports um, not doing very good at the moment. Anyway, so that's all from me. Uh, good luck. And I might see you guys Sunday. We're doing renovations at the moment. So hopefully I'll have computer access by then. Anyway, good luck.